man, what y'all think about this cool little ride? on uh, September 16th, 17th in Nacogdoches, Texas for the Old Town Rig Down Truck Show put on by Massey Motor Freight, Mr. Troy Massey himself, Tri-State Vacuum and Rental, and what else he got? Oh, Stockville, of course, you know they got all them brands, but uh, it's going to be a big show, it's going to be a big turnout, I believe, uh, we're going to be down there on the Red Brick Street of Nacogdoches, Texas. You know, we know about them red, red brick streets too. We got some of those up here in Memphis, Texas, around our courthouse. So uh, come hang out, ought to be a good time. We're gonna get some good footage, good videos, hopefully some good interviews. And uh, if you're gonna be there, come up and say hi. Let us know where you're from, what you're doing, and just come hang out. Look forward to seeing y'all. We'll see you there.
shade don't do a lot of justice. Check my tires. If I feel any kind of hot. Had a blowout today, y'all. Blew out. This is the inside tire. Make sure these outside one here. It's not too hot. Took out a light. Took out another light. Had to rob a light over there to get put in over here so I could have a brake light turn signal also what y'all think about this little trailer little RGN another new addition to the fleet everything's good and tight we're picking up this little Ford for that uh, gin there in Lakeview Texas the one we got the, the contract with to haul the seed and the bales off of but Man, this is a cool truck. You put a little bit of dang spit shine on this thing, put some uh, wax on it, I bet that cab will shine up nice. This thing fired right up, which I don't know if y'all could tell it earlier in the video or not, but man, it's cool. Stopped here, we're in Crowell, C-R-O-W-E-L-L, -L, Texas. We're just kind of easing it back toward Back toward the house, it's the only bad spot of the tank, and it looks like, I don't know if it, some, they put some kind of coating on there for, or, or just a gasoline uh, coming up, coming down the side of it, caused it, or what? But, look at that dash. I mean, you talk about cool the seat got a little tear here a little tear on the side where everybody been getting in and out but man it is super clean super clean little ride fires right up five speed with a uh, two speed rear end rear axle yeah it's cool I stopped here to give me something to drink right quick. Check, check all our chains. Everything looks good. We're gonna run this on down to the gin and uh, get her dropped off. So, so I'll take y'all along with me today, as usual. All right, let's roll.
dumb. guys we're back here at the yard just got hooked up to the hopper bottom uncle adam's hooked up to the hopper bottom boss man's hooked to the walking floor over there he's got a load of feed on adam and i are going to be going to border texas in the morning load a load of urea some more fertilizer going back down to monday they're still using the heck out of it got the Little RGN dropped over here. Yo, guys, we got a pretty good deal on this trailer for as old as it is. See the damage, got a new tire on the inside. We got some more tires we're gonna put on here. Uh, some virgin tires to get rid of that problem. I'm gonna redo these lights on the back. Um, <clears throat> see this old trailer has some spoke Dayton spoke wheels that guy that changed the tire he was scared to mount it back up i had to do it myself but he did cut us a break on the mountain fee so uh so i got that done but this is a 1988 witsco challenger 40 ton rgn just two axle and pretty heavy trailer it's got a pretty short neck on it i gotta move my slide my fifth wheel back every time i want to hook up to it but for what we're going to use it for man it works out great it's got a hell of a it's got a pretty new honda pony motor on it that man fires right up oh we got to service it put new filters on it and put some new hydraulic fluid in it's a little slow i think it's just low on hydraulic fluid and needs a filter that filter looks like it's been on there a while gotta do a little brake work on the back axle but man i mean for what we gave for this trailer y'all it's it's a hell of a trailer. It's a, all the floorboards are all good on it. It's just a 96 wide instead of a 102. So we got to kind of be careful on what we put on it. It does have outriggers though. Matter of fact, I had a guy call me today wanting us to move a combine with it. So, but depending on how big the combine is, I don't know if we can do it or not. And I need to get the measurements. So, but yeah, it's a hell of a trailer. A little update on our truck situation. Um, you can see Uncle Adam's truck is back. Got a new transmission in it. Got a new transmission. There's a problem with it. The pumpkin sitting over here still broke down. Um, I put a, we got a donor ECM from our shop in Amarillo to see if that was a problem and it's still still not doing what it's supposed to so i'm really thinking it's got a short somewhere just haven't had time to dig into it little red to kenworth should be ready today 
should have been ready today or maybe tomorrow I don't, i'm not sure the issue with it was a wiring harness so uh wiring the engine wiring harness so we got that uh getting that replaced so we should have her back i uh, ended up buying a uh, boss man ended up buying a van trailer for our bells out there at the gym where we that where we unloaded just a while ago too that's the gym it's nine miles from here y'all lakeview farmers co-op gym nine miles from here from the yard so we got that little truck unloaded we got our loader here ready to go we our boss man bought a van trailer we gotta get three more vans i think we're just gonna lease them for this year though we need four vans to haul the bales with and then we still got to get two more walking floors and we got one we need three total so and we're looking for a driver uh, i think we got one found we got a driver found we're just waiting on him to uh he broke his leg and uh had surgery so he's just waiting on him to get healed up but by the time it's, it's about still another four to five weeks out by the time he gets ready to go he should by the time we get really ready to need somebody he should be ready to go and it's actually my father-in-law so and <clears throat> we're probably gonna be looking for a truck to come help us somebody with the truck and uh walking forward to come and help us so um which i got a couple guys already kind of lined up on that too a couple trucks probably so just depends on how all this cotton comes in it's not gonna be a lot of cotton but it might all come in at once and we might have a busy three to four weeks where it's gonna be all hands on deck and then after that they probably kind of spread out so every typical year is just pretty much three months of all hands on deck this year it's just gonna be about a month so uh, it's a little shorter video than usual and i'm not gonna sit here and blab the whole time so thanks for watching uh we're gonna get back after the hopper bottoms tomorrow and i'll try getting our video out sometime this week like we always say here keep your sunny side up hammer down we'll see y'all on the next thanks for watching y'all